I got interested in snowflake photography just a few months ago. One of my colleagues here in the department uh, mentioned it as how snowflakes are all different and how it's really hard to understand how they could be all different. Then I did a little, type it into Google snowflakes or something and quickly stumbled on this guy in Moscow who does these amazing snowflake photographs. And he has a website where he explains how he does it and I did something similar and went out and took uh, my first picture. It came out pretty good. And so for the last two months I've been um, trying to make it better and hoping it'll snow every day. <laughs> I like to take pictures of snowflakes because I find it both relaxing and stimulating and it helps inspire uh, projects for my classes. This is my digital SLR camera which ends here and this thing down here is the lens from that camera that I bought um, which was a regular single lens reflex camera, an SLR, but the lens comes off and so this is just the lens. The camera body, if it were here, would be below here. So this is the lens backwards in this setup. And then I take this outside and catch some snowflakes. I was using a sock. But I'd take that sock and I'd hold it and it was snowing and the snow would fall. And I'd, You can actually see the crystals. They're not so tiny that you can't tell. So I'd look and see if there's a, some that looked interesting. I'd take several pictures. And then I spent hours at my computer putting these pictures together to make one final picture of one snowflake. I spent a lot of time uh, running a, a MATLAB program to assemble the multiple images at different depths of focus. Um, because, it, you know, I might have 10 photographs for one snowflake and to sit there and Photoshop and do it all by hand got to be very tedious. And I would call that hardcore engineering. <laughs> So it's the nerdy side of me and the art, artsy side of me being combined a little bit here. And I've always been a little bit of both, I think. The coolest thing about the snowflakes, and the reason I like to take their picture, is the symmetry. The six-fold symmetry, which, which physicists understand, um, having to do with water and the shape of the molecules and how the ice crystals form. Um, so the six-fold symmetry, at, at some levels, is, is well understood, but at, at the same time, it becomes so intricate as it grows, and it's more than just the six-fold symmetry, but how it grows out with, and everyone's different. And the physics behind that is certainly not well understood by me. Um, and I think that that's really fascinating, and I would like to understand it better.